your belief in Jesus and your acceptance of his teaching spares you from death and it, and it gives you the power to refute the guilt that comes from the mistakes you make. Yes. yes. You're going to make mistakes as Christians. Mm -hmm. But it's an actual sin to feel guilty about it. Yes. Because what you're saying is, God, you don't know what you're doing. You sent Jesus not to make us feel guilty, but I'm going to feel guilty because that's my way of showing you that I'm sorry. When in actuality, repentance means to turn away. Now watch this. I could be walking and I could decide to turn away and walk this way. But there's nothing stopping me from going back. That's right. So you're repenting. All you're doing is going in a circle like this. Literally. Mm -hmm. You just keep turning back. Literally. What makes it wrong is if you turn and you just stay there and look at it. Come on. And you just stay. But if you keep turning away, yes, you're repentant. There's going to come a day, there's going to come a time in your life, you're going to turn so much that looking at this object, whatever it is, is going to mean nothing to you. I struggled for years and years and years, man. For years. For years, I could not stop watching pornography. I couldn't stop. For years, I was preaching, I was playing, and I could not stop. I hated myself. I hated myself because I knew it was wrong. And I loved it so much. You know why? As I grew in God, I asked him, why am I struggling with this? I don't want to do this. Why am I struggling? What is the problem? And he began to show me, he began to show me how selfish I was. Pornography for me meant I never was going to get rejected. I had variety. I could see anybody I wanted to. I had to do no work. I didn't have to court anybody. I didn't have to take anybody to lunch. I didn't have to call anybody. I didn't have to hear anybody's, about anybody's day. It was about me. So when I started dealing with the fact that I was selfish... The desire for pornography started leaving me. Right. And when I started dealing with the fact that I was rejected as a child, hmm. the girls that I really, really cared about, I could never get. That built that built up something in me. I grew up in a church where I was constantly um, <coughs> circumvented and constantly. Um, made to feel like I wasn't good enough, my ideas weren't good enough. You know, if I, if I stood up and said something, or if I did something, you know, it, it wasn't received. And I'm talking about as a child, I'm not talking about as a young adult, but just as a, as a, as a child, as an adolescent. I struggle with, I struggle with acceptance from my parents, there were so many things in my life, so many emotional issues, and it would all just manifest in my desire to please myself. And I'd be walking the streets, I'd be, I'd be walking the streets of 8th Avenue in New York City, and I'd find myself in those little, in those little peep show rooms, just the lowest of the low. Searching. 
And I always had this feeling. I'm, I hated myself. About three years ago, three or four years ago, in my reading, my, my time with God, I came across a scripture that changed my life forever. It's Romans 6, verse 14. And I quoted the scripture while I was watching pornography. 